Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, I'm a cosmetic chemist and a pharmacist and today we're gonna talk about my favorite balm cleansers. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel, like the content, comment on the content because it means a lot. It actually boosts my YouTube algorithm and many more people can see my videos and support my creation, you know? Today I'm gonna talk about my favorite balm cleansers. I've tried a few and some has really disappointed me and some were like, whoa, you know, because usually I have the most difficulties with removing my eye makeup. I use really long lasting mascara, waterproof mascara, and you know, it's just, it's so hard to clean it in the evening. Even if I use like some kind of foam or whichever cleanser that is not good enough, it stays underneath my eyes and it just bothers me. I went on a mission to find the best balm cleanser for me so I can do it all in one step. And actually, you can do it all in one step with those cleansers that I'm gonna mention. It's amazing. It just removes everything. You don't need to double cleanse. But I still double cleanse because I like that re regimen in the evening and I just want to be like clean 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 and then serums and you know treatments and some kind of moisturizer and then I feel like perfect. First I want to talk about why I prefer balm cleansers over oil cleansers because when you put an oil on your hand when you pump it out it drips from the fingers and then it drips like all the way maybe sometimes on your clothes and it's just messy you know but with balm cleansers it doesn't get messy you just put it like on your finger and then you gently massage it in your face maybe if you have like a strong makeup on your mouth or um, on your lips or on your eyes you just massage it a little bit more so you can get it into every corner where, where you have makeup do that for about like 30 to 60 seconds and then it's so easy you just use a uh, lukewarm water and mm, massage it and you can see it emulsifies the water turns um, white and it just it washes everything off and your skin is not like dried out it's not like squeaky clean after using it that's the best thing about balm cleansers the two uh, really good ingredients that I found that are in each of those cleansers that I use is first is ethyl hexyl palmitate and the second one is PEG20 glycerol triisosteroid so um, emollients and surfactants, mild surfactants those two were the main components of all of those balm cleansers then it's also nice to have some shea butter and cetyl ethyl hexanoate if that means anything to you those are emollients when it comes to price with balm cleansers i don't want to go like too far with the price like have a really expensive cleanser because cleanser is there to clean all the stuff that you have on your face it, it doesn't do anything it doesn't treat you don't Put it on your face and it doesn't stay there it just goes wash away after 30 to 60 seconds so all those uh, like pricey cleansers with some extracts and actives and everything it doesn't actually help maybe with balm cleansers some balm cleanser like the inky old uh, inky list um old cleansing balm and even even some others that have like active components in it you can actually leave it in on your face a little bit longer if you want to really get that ingredients um, in contact with the skin because if you wash it off after 30 to 60 seconds it all just goes away it, it doesn't make any point then to have a product like that i wouldn't spend more than 20 25 dollar i wouldn't spend more than 20 25 euro because we have euros here on a balm cleanser because it just doesn't make any sense so all these cleansers that I'm gonna talk about are actually around 20 euro um, it's, it's 90 mil mils to 120 mils and it's all around 20 euro so they're really affordable let's start with the third on my list then go to the second one and then to the winner 
First, I want to talk about All Clean Balm by Heimisch. It's it's a superstar. It's one of the best sellers, you know, and it's best seller for a reason. It removes everything. The only thing that I don't like about it, and it's just only my preference, is it's full of essential oils and especially lavender. And I hate the smell of lavender. And that's the only minus with this balm cleanser. Otherwise, it's it's so good if it would be fragrance free it would probably be on the top so let me just tell you all the essential oils orange peel lavender eucalyptus, eucalyptus tea tree pelargonium flower grapefruit, grapefruit peel bergamot fruit a mirish tree frankincense texas cedarwood tree and the extracts are from coconut lime lotus frisia flower rose daffodil jasmine Otherwise, lily purple iris so there's just like full of other things inside um, which you don't usually need in a cleanser but if you you know leave it on your skin a little bit longer maybe you can get something out of it but you don't you know we don't usually do that with cleansers we do that with masks let's go to the let's go to the second one the second one would be Clean It Zero by Vanilla and Co, Co, Co Company. It smells a little bit like sweetie like, like acerola actually. It's a, it's a nice smell. It's great cleansing ability. And you know, it, it says it's hypoallergenic. It can be used on sensitive skin and it has japan hot spring water and extract of lithospermum root bamboo rooibos garden angelica and acerola fruit so it's a really good balm cleanser you know i'm probably gonna i'm gonna actually try when i use all of those i'm gonna try also the other ones from this from this vanilla and car vanilla and co um, which are purifying uh, cleansing balm, revitalizing cleansing balm, pore clarifying and nourishing cleansing balm. So they have like all the other colors, you know, this one is the original one and I want to actually try like a nourishing one. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go to the winner. The winner is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous cleansing butter. It's suitable for sensitive skin. It's suitable for content lens wearers, which I am. And it's also vegan. When you think of the body shop, you don't usually think of like skincare, like, you know, real quality skincare, but they actually have some. You think of shampoos and body butters and you know shower gels but they actually have some really great um, skincare products as well and I think this one is one of the best ones um, it doesn't have a uh, yeah you can see I use it up a lot um, it's so affordable you know like 18 euro for 90 mils uh, the ingredients are simple uh, it has also olive oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E and Roman chamomile extract. This extract is fair trade from England. So it's not just from anywhere, it doesn't matter from where. They're really putting effort into it and it doesn't have any smell. No, it's just really nice soft smell, not even chamomile because I, I don't like chamomile that much as well. It's just nice soft smell and it removes everything so this would be the winner this one is the small packaging uh, after I use it I'm gonna get a bigger packaging and I hope you found like a new cleansing balm that you would like to try that you would love to try to take off all of your makeup and SPF and gunk that was there throughout the day but now I'm gonna add some extra. I wanna talk about this clinic take the day off, which is so popular. And I get it why. It's a good balm cleanser, but it's not the best. Not the best anymore. 
I think that they should improve it a little bit because sometimes I still, you know, when I use it, sometimes a bit of mascara or something just gets underneath my eyes and then I have to use micellar water or something to remove that. So for me, it's, it's a good one, but not the best. You know, if you want the best, just pick one of those three that I was talking about. That will be it for today's video. I hope you find it interesting. If you never used cleansing balm, maybe now there's a time to try it. And if you pick one of those three, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And you know, as always, subscribe to my channel, like and comment, and see you next time. Bye bye.